Hey y'all, welcome to Pure South Pastures Farm. How much meat do you get back if you purchase a whole hog or a half hog? I get asked that question all the time, so let's talk about it today. Hey guys, so today's a big day. Uh, brought back some hogs from the butcher, got some great uh, pork in the freezer. So we brought back three hogs. Uh, the other two of those were already sold to other people. And uh, we had one USDA process so that we could have it for our family, but also we could sell retail cuts if, um, if we want to do that. So um, just to give you an idea, this is what a whole hog looks like uh, in the freezer. Three boxes. Now this is a, for us, this is a pretty light whole hog. It's, um, normally we like to process them about 300 pounds uh, live weight. And uh, we raised these in the winter time and we just didn't get them to 300. My date uh, was locked in and so I really needed to process them on the date that I had. And so we just didn't get them there. So they were probably around 235 to 250. And so there was a little bit of fluctuation there between the three different ones, but I took the smallest one. And so um, on the rail or the hanging weight was 141 pounds. But in as far as meat is concerned, so 141 pounds, that's with the head off, the feet off, the entrails out, uh, that's the hanging weight. A lot of times you'll be charged, if you buy a whole or a half hog, you'll be charged by the hanging weight. It'll be so much per pound hanging weight or rail weight. And so this one would have been 141 pounds on the rail. And then um, actually bring home weight is there's uh, 102 pounds of meat right here. So that's pretty exciting, right? 102 pounds of amazing meat for your family. So I know a lot of people are thinking about buying um, meat for the freezer and buying in bulk or buying a custom share of a beef or pork. And so I just wanted today to share with you a little bit so you could see what that looks like. Now, I'm gonna break for just a minute. I'm gonna get all of this out so you can see some of the cuts and the different things that we have. Um, I'm excited for you guys to see this. It's wonderful looking meat and uh, it's gonna be great tasting. So, so check it. All right, y'all, here we go. We got it all unpacked. And um, you know, if you, really the question people are asking often is, can I fit this amount of, can I fit a whole hog into my freezer? And I would say this, again, this is a small hog, but yeah, you could fit this into a small, um, like a deep freeze. Uh, if you have an upright freezer that doesn't have a lot of other stuff in it, you could fit this this whole hog into that one freezer. So um, don't be afraid to, to per you might try purchasing a half hog first, just to kind of see how much space you have. If you have an extra freezer, then I would encourage you to go ahead and, and uh, purchase some meat uh, through a local farmer and get some great off the farm meat to fill your freezer. There's nothing like it in the world. So. Um, I guess the thing that I get most excited about is bacon and sausage. Um, and so this bacon is just incredible. Um, love it. Can't wait to, to have some of it, hopefully in the morning. Over here you see all of your pork chops and your pork steaks. Your pork steaks will come, the way I had it cut was the front shoulders were cut into pork steaks. Um, and then your pork chops obviously come from the loin. And uh, I had, instead of, instead of getting a uh, pork loin, I had everything cut into um, pork chops because it, I can just, uh, from a uh, trying to please other people standpoint, or I sell meat, so uh, everybody eats pork chops. So lots of people love pork loin too, but uh, everybody eats pork chops. So uh, this summer we'll be grilling lots of pork chops and pork steaks. So these are, are great and wonderful. This is a pork steak, obviously be from the front shoulder, but I just want you to see, see that fat cap there. It's beautiful. Dark red meat. Here's some center cut pork chops. Beautiful. Can't wait. Can't wait to have those. Here's some spare ribs. So, That'll be great on the grill. Gotta love pork spare ribs. I love the sausage. It's incredible, right? Breakfast sausage, and doesn't like it. So um, with this whole haul, we had 26 pounds. Each one of those chubs is a pound. We had 26 pounds of sausage with the whole haul. Um, you can actually get more than that if you wanna have 
If you wanted that to carry you through the year and you want more than that, then you can have the front shoulders ground for sausage. Um, you can mix it up whenever you have your cut sheet with your, your butcher or your farmer. Work through that. The way I do it is I work through the cut sheet with uh, the people who are purchasing from me. I deal with the butcher and then I bring all of that back to them. I, uh, it gets confusing for people who don't deal with butchers normally on a regular basis. And so I just help people that purchase meat from us by working through the cut sheet, answering all their questions, getting them exactly what they want, and then uh, delivering it to them from the butcher. That way they don't have to deal with all the questions that the butcher's gonna ask and have to know all the cuts and all that stuff. So hopefully you can find somebody, if you've never done that before, hopefully you can find somebody who will walk you through all of that. Uh, also have these ham, uh, ham slices. This is actually hickory smoked ham slices. Check that out, isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just got a beautiful red color to it. You know what that's a sign of? That's a sign of being raised on pasture and being an active animal. It's a different, it's a whole different experience eating animals that are raised on pasture and that are active than it is eating an animal that's in a CAFO system, a confined system where there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of animals and they barely have room to move. This is a different eating experience and it's better for you. Um, these animals experience sunshine. They, exp they experience they're the running around in the pasture, the rooting up, the bugs, and uh, all of the stuff that goes on in the pasture. And so that's just a, uh, a great, great piece of meat. I actually also, uh, check this out. This, some people don't like this, but I get back the fat from the pork. Uh, as a matter of fact, these were old spot pigs, which are, they're fat pigs. And I mean, you might think all pigs are fat, but there are certain breeds that produce more fat. And they, uh, in earlier times, people would use the fat for all kinds of different things, right? Um, they would render it down and use it for all kinds of different purposes. Well, I like to render the pork fat and make lard. Um, if you can make a really clean lard, you can make wonderful biscuits. Mm, I love it, love it. So anyway, that's why I get the pork fat back. A lot of people don't do that, but that's something that I like to do. Anyway, this is what it looks like, guys. This is a, a whole hog. You got your ribs, pork chops. This is how we had it cut up. The bacon, uh, the breakfast sausage. You can also get uh, links made up. You could get a, a bratwurst or, or however you want those made. I'm gonna tell you what I wanna do this summer. I'm having some more done in May, and one of the best things I've ever had is a bratwurst burger. Man, those are killer. Um, just cook it like you do a hamburger, eat it like you do a hamburger, but it tastes like bratwurst, man, it's awesome. Uh, that's gonna be a summertime favorite. So anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you see that you can purchase um, from your local farmer. You can get great outstanding meat that is good for your family and fill a freezer um, so that you know that you've got uh, food security for your family um, and you can support your local local economy, your local agriculture too. So find a farmer, know your farmer, know where your food's coming from. You can do this. Get a small freezer, fill it up, start small if you have to. Do a half a half of a beef or a, a quarter of a beef or half a hog or a whole hog. Start small, um, go for it. Get some pasture-raised chicken, some pasture-raised poultry. I'll do some more videos on that uh, coming up in the next few weeks when, when our chicks come in. So anyway, um, Get some uh, local meat for your family. Enjoy it, and uh, you can do this. God bless you guys. Hey, if you liked today's content, if you like what you're seeing on this channel, I would love for you to follow us along the journey. We're learning how to, um, to do this. We're learning how to farm. We don't claim to be experts, but the last two years, we've just been growing and learning and been like a sponge soaking it up. So if you'd like to grow in that journey with us, come along with us for the ride. It's going to be a great journey in the days ahead. So. Uh, like and subscribe. You can even hit that bell so that you can uh, be notified every time we make a video. We'll be showing you pigs, chickens on pasture, all of our cow videos, uh, cattle, all that stuff. So we'd love for you to be with us. So God bless you guys. Have a great rest of the day.